Because as a disabled person, the most important thing for me was to be able to get where I wanted to get, you know, up into the mountains, through difficult terrain. And for that mission, we needed something that was very powerful, had huge amounts of torque, that will take you to places you never imagined possible again. Hi, my name is Sigur Groven. Back in 2015, I was involved in a serious mountain biking accident that left me paralyzed from the chest down. I was desperate to find a solution to get back outdoors again with my family and my friends. I tried a lot of different products, but really couldn't find anything that would uh, fulfill my personal needs for extreme accessibility in demanding terrain. I wanted to get out into the woods again, up on a mountain again, and experience inclusion with my family and friends. As luck would have it, I met what would later become my co-founder and partner in Exotec, Matthias Dorvesta. Matthias uh, has a background as a flight mechanic and a service technician in the mobility aids industry. His girlfriend is also spinal cord injured and Matthias was also looking for a solution, a uh, type of mobility uh, aid that would redefine what's possible. Together, we decided to create the Exoquad, which is a fully electric, four-wheel drive, super compact, lightweight mobility vehicle that will take you to places you never imagined possible again. Today, we will go through some of the features of the machine and show you what it's capable of, how it's designed, and why it's so unique, why it's so powerful. We firmly believe that the Exoquad is the most accessible mobility vehicle in the market. It might not be the fastest and most nimble, but it's very lightweight, very strong, very powerful. We are focused on torque to get the most possible accessibility traits that we could offer. So that's why we went for uh, chain-driven solutions at the rear with very powerful dual motors. And up front the motors are in the hub and you can easily switch between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive on the fly from the handlebar. When we set out to make the Exoquad, we had accessibility in mind first and foremost. Because as a disabled person, the most important thing for me was to be able to get where I wanted to get, you know, up into the mountains, through difficult terrain. And for that mission, we needed something that was very powerful, had huge amounts of torque, uh, and also great suspension systems. So this was our main goals when we started designing the Exoquad. And uh, I think we have achieved that. So today we will go through the product, show you what it's able to do, show you some of the features it has, and uh, give you a good overview of the total package. So maybe we can start by talking about the frame design. The exopod is about uh, 170 centimeters long from the tip of the front wheel to the tip of the rear wheel. It's uh, about 90 centimeters wide. And when you remove the roll bar, it's about 90 centimeters tall, depending on which backrest you choose. We use uh, mostly normal standardized bike parts to make the bike easy to maintain for anyone with basic knowledge about mechanics. So you can see uh, our brakes here are actually from cargo bikes. They are very strong and they also have this smart handbrake function. So when you want to rest in a hill and talk to someone, you can just engage the handbrake. We have this on both sides. Also at the handlebar we have a quad lock system for your mobile phone with a USB charger. We have an emergency stop here that you, have, you should have around your wrist at all times. And then we have heating in the grips and also uh, lights here. This is a thumb throttle. You can also choose twist throttle if you like. The stem is adjustable, so you can decide if you want the handlebar to be higher. You can also have a longer or shorter stem. Depends on, on your seating position and sometimes uh, what type of 
injury or, or um, disability you have. We made the suspension system in a very particular way. Because uh, one of the design challenges we had was how do you fit your feet into the machine while at the same time making the A-arms go all the way to the center so the wheel can travel as far up and down as possible for comfort and for uh, bump absorption when you drive in rough terrain. And we solved this by making a very unique and patented solution with a wide A-arm at the bottom here, up front, that goes all the way into the center and it's actually curved around the chassis. So in this way we actually have 200 millimeters of suspension travel up and down. And we use very durable and low maintenance coil shocks, both at the front and at the rear. You can also have air shocks if you'd like. They have certain advantages in terms of adjusting uh, the air settings on the fly. But the coil shocks have uh, less maintenance. If we see up front, we also made something here that is quite smart, I'd say, and ingenious. This is the kick up. So if you hit an obstacle, the exoquad will slide over its very thick and durable uh, skid plate here at the bottom. If it was straight at the front, you would easily get hooked in rocks or different other routes and stuff, you know. So uh, that's the reasoning for the, for the kick up. Also, you can have a look here at the, where the motors are located in the wheel at the front. And here we have huge disc brakes, which are oversized. We actually make these in-house in a laser cutting process. And the front motors are about a thousand watts each. So they will uh, be easily engaged from the handlebar when you need it. But most of the time I actually just run two-wheel drive because most of the ground pressure on the machine is at the rear. So we have an enormous traction here and those motors are very, very powerful. They are actually about three and a half kilowatts each. And we use a chain from, from uh, go-karts, which is very strong. And uh, sometimes you can uh, uh, be in the need of, of, uh, of adjusting the chain and then it's easily done by releasing uh, a couple of bolts uh, around the motor and, and sliding it up and down to, to adjust the tensioning of the chain. So, basic maintenance, a lot of stuff you can do yourself, like changing tires and brake pads. It depends on what kind of knowledge you have, but um, uh, a well-trained bike mechanic can uh, usually just take care of everything that's related to the mechanical side of the product. For the electronics, it's, uh, it's a more specialized knowledge that we can assist with. Uh, let's have a look at the battery. So it's placed underneath the seating and it's there because we want to keep the center of gravity as low as possible. It's a very nice uh, battery package produced in Norway. And um, it's about 2,300 watt hours, which will give you approximately 50 kilometers of range. And you can indeed have a second pack at the rear if you'd like. If we take a look at the rear of the exoquad, we have this roll bar here, which is for safety. There's a quick release function on it, so you can just open these clamps and then you can pull it straight off. It's also uh, perfect for, for bringing your wheelchair. So you can grab your manual wheelchair and then just slide it over uh, the back of the, of the roll bar. And here we have these openings. This is for the luggage rack. I will show you that later, how it's attached. Uh, looking at the back, we have the shock tower here with the massive uh, oil shocks that will ensure a very comfortable ride. You can also see here where the brake calipers are mounted. Everything here is in a quite tight area. Everything here is handmade and welded in Norway and uh, custom made for, for the exoquad. Here you can see the large uh, electric motors at the rear. 
These are very powerful with about three and a half kilowatts uh, of power on each motor. In total, you have close to 350 newtons of torque in the entire machine, which is a huge, huge advantage when you're, uh, for example, going up a steep hill and you need to stop and take off again. Uh, that's pretty unique for the Exoquad, that, that we have these uh, enormous amounts of, of torque. The wheels on the Exoquad are a fat bike standard, so these are actually 20 inch fat bike wheels, and uh, we use these uh, knurled type all-terrain tires to get a good grip and also a lot of cushioning throughout the, the wheel itself or the tire itself so you can run it with very low pressure uh, that's an advantage when you need more traction and it will also give you a, a, a dampening effect so when you, you when you ride rough terrain you have the shocks that will give you dampening and also get a lot of, of uh, dampening through the actual tire on this particular model, we have a seat with a high backrest. You can add several layers of foam if you need to have more support. There are also openings here for, for Velcro bands. If you need to have a Velcro band uh, over your chest to increase uh, support. There are also uh, openings at the front. If you need something to sort of gather your legs while you're riding, so we also have these slots here, which you can take a Velcro band and pull through and use for support. I think maybe the most important aspect for all Exoquad owners is the actual value that the machine brings to your life and also to the life of your loved ones to be able to experience inclusion again, uh, to be able to venture out and lead a very normal life despite having a serious disability that um, prevents you from walking. You can still access nature, you can still get to those hard to reach places that you'd like to go because you have the right tool for the job. And that's the one thing we had in mind as our vision and our goal, to make a product that is accessible, looks nice, kind of breaks the norm from the traditional electric wheelchair. So I think we have succeeded in, in that and uh, we are very pleased with the end result. Once we get people inside, you really understand what it's able to do. And speaking from a personal point of view, uh, it's actually my life before and my life after the Exoquad. Now I can easily get around whenever I want to. I can walk my dogs, I can uh, plow the snow in my driveway, because uh, it can actually be used as a utility vehicle as well. So um, all in all, it's, it's made a huge impact uh, in my life and also in the life of uh, my loved ones.